What is up YouTube boys and girls? Uh, today I just kind of want to touch base uh, doing a video on my birthday. Uh, just wanted to uh, kind of communicate with you a little bit of the different things that I've bought for uh, my rat rod project um, and we're doing you know uh, tool uh, I know we do a lot of tool things and that and I've got some items that I just kind of want to go over with you and uh, show you some different things that I bought for the project I probably spent more than I should have uh, a lot of it was birthday money and what have you uh, I just kind of want to go over it with you and we'll just get started first of all I wanted to uh, share with you uh, you know I've told you guys uh, to think safety and you know be be safe when you're doing projects like this so I went out and bought me a new face shield it's a Jackson um, I think it was like 29 or 30 dollars on Amazon uh, it's a very I like it because it surrounds your whole uh, head and everything I'll put it up here show you guys It uh, fits the whole side, the old school face shield that I have. You know, some of the sparks get in. Uh, I like that it comes up over my bald head here. Uh, and when I have my, uh, I call it a do-rag on to help protect the sparks when I'm grinding and stuff. Uh, it keeps, you know, all that off. Uh, let me show you, peel this off. Probably won't need it no more if I can get it off of here. And uh, maybe I continue talking while I do this. But uh, and I got some other items that I think y'all be interested in. They make this uh, adult proof. I bet a child could get this. There it is. Got one on the outside and one on the inside. Wouldn't you know that? And you can get replacement shields for these I don't know what the cost on the replacement shield I never even thought to check um, they've got a little tab down here that you can release it and it should pull right out of there once you pull it up you can pull your shield out and I believe you're supposed to pull it down if I don't break it here like I said they made it to where a child could probably get it but Anyway, you guys get the deal. It fits over your face. It's adjustable. I like it that, you know, it, it covers most all your face and even down below. Uh, I think it's going to be a really uh, good shield for uh, what I'm, I'm doing, uh, grinding, cutting. You know, a lot of times I'm grinding upside down and what have you, and... Uh, I just kind of wonder, it's made by Jackson. Uh, I think it's going to be well, well used. And, uh, you know, I, I decided to get it because the other day I was grinding and that, and I just had my regular glasses on, and I got some, uh, I don't know if it's grinding or welding, but uh, I got to burn a hole in the center of my glass, and it's right in my uh, vision. So, enough said about that, but yeah, I always try to be safe and, you know, just watch what you do and what have you. The next item I have, I've been wanting one of these, uh, are these shears. Uh, I got these from Har Harbor Freight. They were like 44 bucks. Uh, it's for uh, metal. Uh, I think you could, it says on the box you can go up to 18 gauge. Uh, metal it's uh, I think it'll be for what I use it for I've got the old school uh, I don't know if you guys have seen uh, let me grab them uh, 
I have the air nibblers that will do good, fine for, you know, straight lines and things, but I wanted these for uh, doing curves and what have you. I think for the money, uh, they look very well built. I've had uh, some of the Harbor Freight uh, electric tools that I've been using for years, so I don't think this will, you know, be bad at all. It's got one speed. Uh, it comes with an extra set of uh, brushes for it. And as you can see, it's very well built. Uh, this is solid. That's what I like about it. It's not really... Uh, I was afraid when I got it that it was made out of pot metal, but it, it's it's very solid. I like that you can take it apart, uh, change the blades. I haven't checked on the blades, see what the replacements are or if you can get them. Uh, I don't plan on cutting anything more than, you know, maybe aluminum for the floor or stainless. Uh, stainless is a little harder. Uh, thinner stainless, I think it'll do all right. And I'll show you guys maybe in another video how well they they work but uh i've really needed a set of these or this um for quite a while and i think it's going to help my metal fab um i can step up the game uh speaking of stepping up the game i bought a kit from uh, eastwood and i don't know if you guys know what calicos are um for those of you that don't they are a uh, fastener and you get them in quarter. I'm not sure what all sizes you can get them in. But uh, the kit comes with the tool and the Coleco. I ordered 10 more Colecos. These are very expensive. You only get 10 in the kit with the, the pliers. Then uh, I think it was another 10 of them you get for another 19 or 20 dollars but what you do is you drill your hole you stick these in you put it in your metal all all around the the metal and i'll once again i'll show you in another video these are so handy and i've been wanting these for years and just never spent the money on them uh it comes in a nice little carrying case with them uh, you also get two of the clamps to hold your metal. And they're very well thought out and well, well built. Um, but yeah, once you drill your holes in that and you uh, drill them far enough apart, you can put them in every other hole and it'll hold your metal down like on your floorboards, your dashes, uh, your back walls and things. And it'll help you get your metal set. And once you drill the holes and things, you'll be set. Um, you know, you can go ahead and tack it in, pull the Clecos out. Where the Cleco was, you can go ahead and weld that up. And uh, it will, will step up your game. And, you know, your stuff's not going to move around on you. You're going to be more precise. Uh, it's just something that I've been wanting for years and uh, I decided to go ahead and spend the money. And uh, yeah, if you can, try check out Eastwood and just see. Uh, you know, like I said, they're pretty pricey, but I think it's well worth your time and money to get these if you do any fabrication or anything. The next item, uh, I've got two of them around, but I get tired of unplugging, plugging back in. Uh, you know, switching blades, switching to a cutting blade. Uh, I've got a battery-operated one that I use from uh, Milwaukee. Uh, I've got uh, DeWald. I've got them all. Um, I went and bought me a new grinder. Uh, it's a Craftsman 7.5. Uh, it's one of the bigger ones. Uh, I don't have a big one. I want to be able to use... Uh, open it up here if I can get it open and show you guys once again they child proofed it or rust proofed it it 
it's one of the Haas daddies. Um, you know, it's pretty good size um, grinder. I, I I really like it. I like that it had the uh, deal up here where you could push. It still comes with the. Uh, you get one of the discs with it. You get. Uh, the handle to, to undo your uh, little screw nut, whatever you want to call it here. It comes with the, uh, most time I don't use these. On this bigger one, I probably will, because uh, I'm going to probably use a wire brush, mainly with this one. Um, I like the handle. It's just, it's so ergonomic. You know, it's perfect. It's it's a beefy grinder. Um, you know, I haven't had a Craftsman. Uh, I do have a Craftsman uh, buffer that I've had for, oh, I would say seven, eight years. I still use it quite a bit. Um, you know, it, it's one of the cheaper ones. I bought it at uh, Sears when they were around, but this grinder, I think it's going to get well used and ho hopefully it'll last me for a long time. Uh, I just needed another grider, grinder to add to my arsenal. And this one, you know, looked like uh, it would be, and I think it was, I want to say 35 or $40 at um, Lowe's. And all the other ones I looked at, um, we're like 99, uh, I think there's 109, you know, and I looked at them all and I've got the battery operator, operated one, excuse me, tongue tied there, but it, uh, just didn't seem, uh, you know, it, it don't last very long when, when you're doing a lot of, uh, sanding with it um grinding cutting it does fairly decent i just wish they could keep the batteries uh to where you don't have to change the batteries out especially when you're working on projects and things because usually it runs out in the most inopportune time or you're laying up underneath something and that and i'm not bashing them by no means the next item i'm going to take you over here and show you it's probably going to be another video for it, or I may do it later on this afternoon. I'm in the process of making a base for it, and uh, I didn't know if I was going to leave you guys hanging or if I was just going to go ahead and do it and film later on this afternoon and show you what I've done. Uh, I'll decide as the day goes, and we'll just go from there. Okay, guys, this is the bead roller uh, from uh, Eastwood Company. It comes with a handle. Uh, I added this. I made it a little bit longer. I'm in the process of making a base for it. Uh, the handle's probably not going to be used because I went out, and Harbor Freight had this for $149, and what I'm going to do is I'm taking this apart i'm gonna run me take this i've got it marked excuse me marked out and what i'm gonna do it's a perfect size i'm gonna put it on there i'll have two uh of these screws like this hopefully it'll work and that's what's going to drive it. And then I'm going to use the motor and stuff. This will be in here like so. And that's what's going to drive my bead roller. And hopefully that's, you know, that's the plan I've got for, for the bead roller. Um, and, you know, whether it works or not for me, we'll, we'll just see... Uh, I don't know. Uh, I've seen other videos and things of guys making uh, different motors. I had a hammer drill motor I was going to use on it uh, for the bead roller, but I don't think I can regulate it as well. 
um, I got a potentiometer coming and I've got a foot pedal for it to where I can kind of control it. It's I've seen guys use these uh, handheld ones and uh, you know the handheld ones are, are you know as you crank and try to hold your material and stuff I, I just don't see it working for me as well making uh, the you know I'm gonna have to make new uh, fenders if I decide to for the bed I'm gonna make try to make uh, or fix the bed sides make my own bed sides cut them down make my own floorboard and uh, I just kind of thought I needed it for for that and uh, put you guys back up here in the cradle you know that's just one of the the things uh, like I said I just kind of wanted to do this video and uh, try to get a video out there again bins that I was off um, but overall uh, I just kind of want to show you some of the items that I'd bought I'd also got this uh, it's through Jags, but it's I got it from Amazon. It's the uh, forming bag. I've got me a couple of hammers that I found here, there. Uh, you know, you can find them at flea markets, yard sales. I found one at Harbor Freight. Uh, it was a little bit thinner, a nylon one. Um, you know, you can do different things with, with these. Uh, like I said, I think it's uh, one pound. Um, it was, no, I take that back. I had to, uh, I don't remember how much sand I had to put in this, um, but it, it tells you in the instruction, it comes without the sand and that, but, uh, this I think is going to up my game too. Uh, excuse me. My nose is running. Wow. It's a little cool this morning. Sorry about that. But, uh, anyway, I just kind of wanted to show you, you know, these are some of the items that uh, I purchased. Um, so whoever says that, you know, it don't take a lot of money to build a rat rod or a street rod or anything like that, you know, the tools are the main things. Uh, you know, you got to have the right tools. And I'm not saying you got to go out and buy. I just got lucky. Um, you know, I got... Uh, people giving me money for my birthday and that's what I chose to do with it is buy tools um, we'll get more into the rat rod uh, maybe later on this afternoon
Okay guys, there's a good start on it. I don't know if you can see I'm in the process of modifying my stand and that I'm gonna have to make it a little bit more stable um, it's a little wobbly um, I may just uh, mount it to the ground I haven't decided yet uh, or get a bigger plate make a bigger plate uh, this is where the motor and stuff's gonna be I'll go into that uh, if I get some time tonight, I'll uh, go into that, uh, what I'm going to do there. I don't know if I'm going to go out this far uh, with it. I may bring this in just a little bit so I have a support here and I can bring my brackets out to support my uh, motor and stuff. I'm just trying to get a feel for what I need and just kind of looking it over got it clamped for right now um, but yeah it's turned out uh, fairly decent I've got my deal for my dies down here weld them all up turned out uh, halfway decent uh, everything looks really good eventually I'm gonna I don't know if I'm gonna order their um, they've got a table for these or if I'm gonna make my own uh, I'll figure that out uh, it'd probably be easier just to order their table but they want a hundred and some but hundred and some dollars for it and I just uh, if I can get out by the cheap uh, I'm gonna try to I've got some stainless around here I think it'd be kind of nice to just use it to where I could wipe the stainless down but this is what I got so far guys and uh, I just kind of wanted to show you that, so. Okay, YouTube, finished it up. I thought I'd just do a quick video on it, so I wouldn't leave you hanging. Got my dimple die uh, holders here. I've got three more on the other side. Um, missing dies. They're supposed to be, Eastwood's supposed to be sending uh, the ones that I need. Uh, overall, it turned out really, really good. I'm, I'm very happy with it. Um, that's a pipe threader for those of you that didn't know, know what I'd used. Uh, I had a piece of uh, UHMW. I put a set screws on both sides, quarter 20. Uh, modified the T handle I uh, may have to shorten it a little bit but I'm very happy with it uh, put a spring in there uh, that's an also quarter 20 uh, run it down into the block um, the spring is to help this come back up so pivot so I don't have to you know you still have to loosen it and that but uh, before you have to force it up now you don't have to do any of that uh, you can see the adjuster and it's moving up and down overall the stand turned out halfway decent uh, my welder i got it working okay with the uh Shielded wire, I guess is what I was looking for. I still need to grease, get me a small grease gun, grease uh, these zerts. I think I'm going to put some uh, grease on these also. I'm going to move this over. It's rubbing just a little bit back in here. Uh, I think I got it a little too tight when I uh, disassembled it and everything. So, uh, but overall, uh, it turned out really good. I used the original bracket that come with it uh, took the tube pressed it out I'm gonna put a lock collar here cuz this likes to move and it'll just come off there's like a little snap ring in there that holds this part to this so I'm gonna stick it on there so it don't fall out on the ground and uh, I, I want it to where this can be pulled off and be universal if I want to use it uh, I have to get a half inch die but Anyway, I think it turned out really, really good. 
my welds are kind of lousy uh, it's getting tired and, and that some of them turned out okay some of them didn't some of them i ground down some of them i just left uh, but overall i think it turned out really good uh, and that's the eastwood uh, bead roller modified with a But that's it, guys. Uh, I'm just dirty and, and just plumb more out. I've got up early and uh, it's been nonstop. Uh, I'd show you the 48. Uh, I got the top, or excuse me, I got the door cut. Um, it's just sitting there right now. Uh, I need to level it out it's kind of cockeyed but uh, i may put that in uh, in at the end and just take some photos and hopefully you guys uh, like this uh, little project that i've been working on today uh, it's taken me most of the day and um, it's just you know it's kind of time consuming and you think you have enough time for different things and you really don't um but yeah thanks for watching my videos like share comment uh once again subscribe and we'll see you in the next video